Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is your host, JC Everyday Thoughts. Everyone gather around should be a good one today. Professional life coach, motivational speaker, a man of God, a husband, and a brand new father. So congrats to my wife and I. Today's topic is, don't be with a man who can go days, weeks, months without contacting you. My thing is, it's 2022. There's so many ways to get in contact with your lady or your wife or your spouse. I mean, you got text messages, you got phone calls, video calls. I mean, there's really no excuses. And I understand as men, we do get busy. We do have our own regimen of things to do on a daily basis. But you do have to make sure that you part time out for your wife or significant other. I mean, it could be 30 minutes, 20 minutes. I mean, you may need to schedule on a calendar, you know, actually put it on your calendar on Google just to try to see you guys and have a time where you guys are both connected and the conversation should be really un uninterrupted. It should be just be y'all two. It should be multitasking when you're on Facebook or you're on Instagram or <laughs> scrolling through the web. It should really just be time spent that you got to contact, contact each other, spend good quality time through video, through text messages, through calling, and just making sure that you guys are thinking about each other throughout the day. A lot of times as men, you get so caught up with working, going to the gym, going on walks, and we just kind of put the woman in the back burner unless we need her or something to benefit from her. So you got men up mindful of that too. And guys are just out there just starting dating. Uh, you don't want to be blowing up on one's phone. I mean, come constantly calling her, texting her all throughout the day. Uh, if you call her once, she'll pick up, she leaves a voicemail. Are you leaving voicemails? Just wait and see, and then wait till she call you back. If she don't call you back, then you can tell she's not interested in you. Same thing with text messages. I mean, you text a message to someone at eight o'clock, they don't get back to you at all. I mean, they could be busy, which I would assume, but it shouldn't, you know, the woman shouldn't be <laughs> all day long not to see the message and not to respond. I mean, it only takes with two seconds. So, especially they'll be online. I kind of understand they're in the hospital and they can't really do so much, but I mean, if someone's interested in you, most definitely they're gonna put the time effort into, you know, calling you, texting you, video chatting you. So I use that as an excuse as well too. But get back to the subject. Like I said, don't be with a man who can't call you, can't text you, can't video chat with you. And my thing is, everyone make time for what's important to them. And to me, me personally, I will make time to make time to call my daughter, see how she's doing. I mean, call my wife to see how she's doing well too. I mean, I always have uninterrupted time that we spend together. And I just try to make sure that, that my wife, my child understand that, you know, I'm here, you know, yeah, I stay busy. I'm busy by, but I'm always here. I'm always like, whatever I need to do, I need to take a few minutes just to call them, see how they doing, that's what I do. And like I said, I don't matter what, what kind of job I'm at, I don't matter what kind of situation I'm at, my family comes first, and that's what first and foremost, you know, right next to God, well, God comes first, then the family, but you know what I mean? Basically, family, family first, priority, because like I said, a job could be here today, tomorrow, next week, but the family is the most important to me, so that's why I put emphasis on the family, so be mindful of that. I mean, you, somebody can go days, weeks, months without talking to you, communicating to you, and you know, that person really you want to be in your corner like i don't care how mad or said you may be at somebody but you guys should always have a come to agreement stage or compromise and try to work things out i mean that's what relationships are about you know that's what marriage is about it's all about it's just about you guys coming between, between one you know y'all may argue y'all may fuss but you guys always should come together and kind of that open space of communication you can't really be walking all she be slamming the door, like I said in previous videos. Try to come together and try to work things out and try to see from each other's point of view without interrupting each other. Like, my point of view, I may be mad at my, my wife, but I gotta look at myself, my own actions, like why, 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 why was she mad at me? Or why why am I mad at her, etc. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta come to, to the middle and look at your own actions. Don't try to blame the other person, point the finger, but you always gotta 
reconcile as far as like what can you do better in a situation. So that's all I really got to say today. I mean, like I said, like I said, if someone interested in you, they're gonna make sure they call you, text you, video chat with you. So many apps to call on, Skype, <laughs> Teams. I mean, so many, so many different website apps to contact your loved one on. I mean, really no excuse. But how you feel about the situation? I mean, some people are cool with not talking to talk to each other during work or until like, they get home, so they can go like eight, ten hours not talking to each other. I mean, some people are cool with that. I know me personally, I'm not cool with that. But what's your opinion? What's your thoughts about it? I mean, this is a very interactive kind of type of channel, so. I'd love to hear your feedback as far as what you think about this topic. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe to my Facebook page, Instagram page, uh, wherever. Um, until next time, I'm out. JC, everybody thoughts.